Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're going to be ripping a box of 1989 Fleer in search of the Griffey rookie, Biggio, Randy Johnson, and maybe a couple of error cards if we're lucky. And we'll see if Billy Ripken shows up as well. I appreciate you guys joining us tonight. As always, with these sets, especially from the Junk Wax era, I like to take a look back at the Becketts from back in the day. And tonight we'll be looking at the, let's see here if I get it in focus, August of 89 Beckett with good old Kevin Mitchell on the cover there with a hideous looking 89 Bowman. And let's take a look and see what this set booked at back in the day. So as we can see here, it's booking out at $29. Look out. You know, we'll take a look at some of the cards. You know, I'm not going to go over the era cards from back in the day because those change. You see Don Mattingly a buck. Sheffield, you know, two and a quarter. Chris Sabo, hot card. Shout out to John Jabs, Chris Sabo, dollar. Okay, and we got some more era cards there. Mike Greenwell, hot one back then, a dollar. You know, more era cards. Greg Jeffries, still hot back then at two twenty-five. And Canseco is a dollar twenty-five. Should have been about fifty dollars. Yes, I PC Canseco. Let's see, Sandy Alomar Jr., dollar fifty. You know, that's pretty much it. Mark Grace, a dollar. Ken Griffey Jr. on the uptrend at four fifty. Ricky Jordan, dollar seventy-five. Look out! Where in the world is Ricky Jordan? And let's see here. You know, the Billy Ripken errors back then. You know, twenty-five for the regular. You know, twenty-five for whiteout. Twenty for the scribble, and a dollar for a black box. Now you have six different ones, which we'll see. We check out the latest version, which we'll pull out our trusty Beckett here from September of 2020 of this year, obviously. Duh. Let's take a look at, I mean, now Beckett these days gives them about three inches. So if you look here, way down at the bottom, 1989 Fleer, booking out at $15. McGuire, a dollar, Clemens, a dollar. Look out. And then if we go up here, we can see, you know, the Treadway error card, $25. Alan Ashby error, wow, old 250. Biggio rookie card, 250. Randy Johnson Marble error booking out at 30. Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, $12. And the Billy Ripken variants, 20 for the original, 120 for the whiteout, $100 for the white scribble, $8 for the black scribble, and $6 for the black box. So that's pretty much it. You know, other than the error cards, you're looking for Griffey, Randy Johnson, Biggio, maybe Sheffield, a couple other ones, but that's pretty much it. But this set is definitely hot. Everyone's chasing those error cards, especially that Randy Johnson. So we'll okay, take a look at let's this. Let's get ripping on these packs. And that's what you guys came here to see. So without further ado, let's just jump right in and see what we get. And of course, they're upside down. Mark Icorn. And here we go. Earl Hershiser. Mark Langston. Don Robinson. All right, nothing too great in that pack. We'll move right along here. Hope everyone is doing well tonight. Of course, here we go upside down again. John Smiley, Burt Bly Levin, Jose Alvarez, Bob Kipper. Mike Greenwell, hot card back in the day. Tim Belcher, Jay Tibbs, and that was it. Let's keep going here. Remember when these cards came out, they were definitely hot. Everybody was searching for that Griffey. Jack Morris, Red's Prospects, Lenny Harris, and Marty Brown. Biggio rookie card. Here we go. Not bad. I'll put you over here in the front row. Eric Plunk. Nice. As you can see, I'm starting to make little improvements to my set here. Trying to get with the program. Shout out to Ink Gaming for my mat down there. Pretty quick. Not you know, reasonable pricing as well. I'll link them down below. Not getting paid anything for that. I just figured I'd tell everyone it's pretty good service, reasonable price. I think I just charged, I think 25 or 30, 30 with shipping for the mat. 
it only took less than a week to get here. Can't beat that. Good quality as well. Try not to babble too much, unless it's relevant to what we're doing here. Still a little hungover from John Jab's 35 hour uh, 91 score break yesterday. Greg Swindell, speaking of John Jabs, there you go. Maybe we'll get lucky to pull a Billy Ripken. Or maybe we'll get a Randy Johnson. More likely to get the Ripken now. Earl Hersheiser again. Can't stand him because he beat the A's in 88. 13, you know, rooting for Seiko. Just came off the 40 40 season. Grand, sl Grand Slam first game. And then that was it. Crippled Kirk Gibson comes up and crushes the 13 year old kid. Thanks, Kirk Gibson. Dave Parker. Tommy John, about 65 years old in that pick. Ruben Sierra. Dale Murphy, who should be in the Hall of Fame. Tell me why Dale Murphy is not in the Hall of Fame, but Harold Baines is. If anyone can actually agree with that, then you might want to get drug tested. Because there's no reason on God's green earth why Harold Baines is a Hall of Famer and Dale Murphy is not. Daryl Strawberry and Will Clark. Can't stand Will Clark. Daryl's okay, as long as he stays off the coke. Okay, David Cohn, Sid Fernandez, Cal Daniels, the hot one back then. Not much else in that pack. Rick Rude, another Biggio rookie. Put him there for now. I'm not going to give him. He's not worth enough to get you know his own separate one for each. So Eric Plunk, Griffey might get his own one for if I get multiple Griffies. But Edgar Martinez, second year. Ellis Burks, another hot one back in the day. Didn't necessarily pan out as great as everyone thought he'd be. Still had an you know, okay career better than I did, so I can't really complain too much about him. Keith Hernandez. Barry Larkin. Andre Dawson. Rob Deer. Rob Deer was the epitome of swing and miss. All or nothing back in the day. But then, hey, look, it's 2020 and now that's what everyone does. Home run or nothing. And if you strike out 200 times, no big deal. Double Trouble, Galarraga, and Gerald Perry. Galarraga's numbers were overinflated because he played in Coors Field, but that's just my opinion. Some may say that's a fact, but we'll go with opinion to not upset too many people. Same as Larry Walker's numbers, and Nolan Arenado, and Trevor Story, and the rest of the players that came out of Colorado. I could probably hit 30 home runs in Colorado. Sandy Alomar Jr. That was a hot card in the day. According to Beckett. Another Galarraga now. He's going to haunt me now because I was talking trash about him. Chili Davis, Tom Hankey, Greg Gagney, Jeff Blouser, Glenn Wilson. A good old common pack there. Be nice to get some activity from the other hot cards in this set. Let's see what we get. 
looking like another pack of commons here. Jack Morris. Reds prospects that we know aren't any good. George Brett. Appreciate those of you who have subbed to me recently. You know, as always, leave me some comments down here, feedback. You know, I love it, good or bad. Let me know you want to see next. Got a new hobby now, apparently, so I take requests. Sheffield, rookie card. Eh, maybe we'll relegate him to the back row for now. Maybe we'll kick him out if somebody better comes along, you know. Good thing there's no gum in here because I hear all that gum dust everywhere. Seiko. Now you get front row just because I PC him, so he always gets front row. If I could have one of these with a crown on it, I'll put that on it next. Ricky Jordan. That was a hot one in a day. You'd have it in a top loader, wouldn't you? Now it's probably stick it in your bicycle spokes if people still did that. Tom Glavin. Not bad. Triple A's. I don't know why Steinbach. I mean, he was okay. He definitely was not in the class of Conseco and McGuire. You just need a third person to fill that spot. And they're like, hey, Q, get over here. Because I'm sorry, he was not on the level of Bash Brothers. Steroids or not. Walt Weiss. Oh, the rookie of the year after the Bash Brothers. Ron Gant. I PC'd him back in the day. Had skills like Canseco, but didn't necessarily pan out. It was a shame. Love watching him on TBS after wrestling. Will Clark, Raphael Palmero, Tom Gordon. Would have been excited to get a Tom Gordon back in the day. Nowadays, you can find a million of them in common bins. Terry Steinbach again. Barry Bonds. King Steroid. Your records don't count, Barry. Yes, I said it. Mike Sosha. And a checklist. Wade Boggs. Never liked the Red Sox growing up, but you always had to respect Wade Boggs. The man could hit. Regardless, like I said, if you liked them or not. Same with Tony Gwynn. Just hitting machines. Sid Fernandez, once again. He's like five foot four, three hundred and fifty pounds. Like I said, pitch better than me though. That's what happens when you're a left-hander. Standards get lower. Fernando Valenzuela. Every time I see one of this card, I just think of Born in East LA. Classic scene there. Oh, he's handing out the, was it the fake driver licenses, if I remember correctly. This is a quote BBC box certified. So, oh, there's Fernando again. Stewart, Sandy Alomar Jr. Doyle Alexander, Keith Moreland, Mike Capel, Drew Hall, Pasquale Perez, that soul glow. Another classic movie there. Coming to America. They were supposed to come out with another one, but you know that whole uh, that thing that you know shut down a lot of stuff. I guess is a lot of stuff on hold. So we'll have to wait for the next Coming to America movie. Dan Pasqua, Goose Gossage. All Goose does is complain about how back in the day, you know, they went three innings, and these guys nowadays only pitch, you know, 14 pitches. So, but 
those of us who remember the game and actually are a student of history know that he was still dominant. But he still likes to go around and complain. I'm going to complain again. Dale Murphy should be in the Hall of Fame. Mark Davis, Dwight Gooden. Greg Swindell. So far, a little underwhelming here. Obviously, you can't expect to get every card in every box. But you like to get at least one. I don't know, the precursor to... Uh, Molitor insert, precursor to Griffey, I should say. I'm not a student of it that much yet. I'd rather just be surprised, I guess. Well, we'll keep going. Uh, Daryl and Will Clark. Greg Jeffries. Would have been all about that back in the day. Especially being in this area, Connecticut, New York area. He was the second coming. Can I get a regular Randy Johnson? Not even like an error? Andy Van Slyke. Oral Hershiser, of course. I mean, I don't mind Craig Biggio. But I'll gladly trade one of him for, you know, Randy Johnson, maybe. Or a Smoltz. Another Van Slyke, Kent Herbeck. Odell Jones. Ah, getting towards the bottom of the box here almost, yep. Phillies prospect Scott Service, Shane Turner. Wally Joyner, Fred McGriff. this time. Bill Buckner. Jeff Treadway. Is it the air? No, it is not. No bullseye. What do we got here? Luis de los Santos and Jim Campbell. for this BBCE authenticated box. I got to stick the bombs by from Jim Bob on eBay. Take my chances there, I guess. A little sticky here. Joe Girardi. Like him as a manager. Wish the Yankees would have kept him. He deserved to stay. Got them one game from the World Series, and then they had to move in a different direction. That was a load of crap. Just because Gary Sanchez didn't like him. Well, a lot of us like Gary Sanchez, so I would rather just got rid of Gary Sanchez than Girardi. Ryan Samberg, Sirhoff. Matt Noakes, John Crook, Jim Corsi, Bob Malacki. Some different cards at least, but Tim Raines. Nothing that I want to see. Oh, down to our last two packs. 
You guys should have let Sheffield go in the front row. I'm going to move them up there now. It's the end of the game, and, you know, everyone else went home, apparently. Pitching perfect. Okay. Daryl Strawberry. Cal Ripken Jr. Jeffrey Leonard. All right, we're down to our last pack. Job BBCE authenticated box. I could have pulled the same junk out of a box off of eBay, but still. Daryl Strawberry, yeah, same as last pack. And Jeff Treadway, not the error. And, oh, I guess that's it. That was a quick one. So, what do we get? We got. Two Biggios and a Sheffield. That's disappointing, but hey, that's, that's the part of the search, I guess. We'll try again next time. Like I said, I'll just buy another box off of eBay. I'll just snipe someone on Jim Bob's listing and get another box. I'm not going to pay 35 or 4 I forget what I paid for it on BBC. So, try my luck the other way. So, I'm not going to sit here and complain too much, but uh, disappointed. But, like I said, part of the chase. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, etc.